What groundbreaking innovations has CATL brought this year? Let's take a look, shall we? First up is our all new sodium ion battery brand, the CATL Naxtra battery. They're literally winning the lithium game. What if I told you the world's largest battery company just announced a new type of battery that could cost as little as $10 per kilowatt hour? Not 100, 10. That's like going from paying the price of a luxury car down to buying a bicycle. And the twist? They're not using some exotic element pulled from the depths of the earth. They're using something you probably have sitting on your kitchen table right now, salt. The company behind this shocking announcement is CATL, the undisputed king of lithium-ion batteries. They supply Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, and practically half the electric vehicles on the planet. In other words, if there's a global leader in batteries, it's them. Which makes the move even stranger. CATL already dominates lithium. So why pivot to a technology that has been dismissed for decades as second-rate? And why are they being so secretive about how they pulled this off? There are no technical papers, no detailed breakdowns, just bold claims and two sodium-based products ready to hit the market. That raises the million-dollar question. Is this the real deal that changes everything, or are we staring at the latest chapter of battery hype? Why sodium matters? To understand why this news is sending shockwaves across the energy world, let's start with the basics. Sodium batteries aren't new. In fact, they've been around for decades, but they've always been the underdog compared to lithium. Like lithium batteries, sodium ion cells work by shuttling ions between two electrodes. Think of them as parking garages for energy. When you charge the battery, sodium ions move over and park in one garage. When you need the power back, they drive home, releasing energy to your device, your car, or your home. So far, pretty similar to lithium. But here's where sodium stands out. Safety. Sodium batteries are far less likely to overheat, catch fire, or explode. If you've seen horror stories of phones or electric cars bursting into flames, sodium just doesn't behave that way. And there's another huge plus, sodium is everywhere. It's literally in seawater. It's a thousand times more abundant than lithium. But if it's so safe, cheap, and abundant, why haven't we been using sodium batteries all along? The problem has always been performance. Sodium batteries are less energy dense, meaning they store less power per pound. They also don't last as long over repeated charge cycles. And even though the raw materials are dirt cheap, Manufacturing inefficiencies made sodium batteries surprisingly expensive. That's why the entire industry has spent the last 15 years laser focused on cutting the cost of lithium instead. Back in 2008, lithium batteries cost a staggering $1,415 per kilowatt hour. Today, after years of innovation and scaling, that figure has dropped to about $115 per kilowatt hour. Crossing below $100 has been considered the holy grail, because that's the tipping point where EVs become as affordable as gas cars. And now CATL is claiming sodium batteries that cost $10 per kilowatt hour. If that's true, they didn't just cross the finish line, they lapped the entire industry. The Naxtra battery. The centerpiece of CATL's sodium strategy is something they call the Naxtra battery pack. There are actually two versions one designed for heavy-duty trucks and another for passenger EVs. Both versions share the same core technology, and both show some startling performance numbers. For starters, they can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 40 to 70 degrees Celsius, minus 40 to 158 Fahrenheit. That means they retain up to 90% of their usable power even in Arctic conditions. This isn't just a neat trick. It's a potential game-changer for markets that have traditionally been hostile to EVs. Northern China, Mongolia, and Russia all deal with brutal Siberian winters, which wreak havoc on lithium batteries. A sodium battery that shrugs off extreme cold could open up whole new regions to electrification. But what really turns heads is longevity. CATL claims the Naxtra can survive over 10,000 charge cycles. To put that in perspective, Tesla's lithium iron phosphate batteries typically last 3,000 to 4,000 cycles before performance drops. With sodium, we're looking at a theoretical lifespan of over 3.5 million miles before falling below 85% capacity. That's not just a car battery anymore. That's infrastructure. 
Energy density is another key metric, and here sodium is surprisingly competitive. Nextra batteries hit around 175 watt-hours per kilogram, close to the 185 watt-hours per kilogram achieved by lithium iron phosphate batteries. Sure, they don't match the premium nickel-based chemistries that push 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram, but they're good enough for everyday EVs. In fact, CATL says this translates to a range of about 310 miles per charge, more than enough for most daily driving. Freevoig, the hybrid approach. CATL isn't stopping with Naxtra. They've also developed something called Freevoy, which blends sodium with traditional lithium ion in the same pack. Think of it like a hybrid engine, but for batteries. Freevoy comes in different configurations, pairing sodium with lithium iron phosphate or nickel manganese cobalt cells. The system then intelligently switches between chemistries depending on the conditions. Cold weather? Sodium takes over. Long highway trip? Lithium carries the load. Urban driving in extreme heat? Back to sodium. This, best of both worlds, approach gives EVs the flexibility to perform well in any situation. Since its launch in late 2024, Freevoy has already been adopted by automakers like Geely, Cherry, GAC, and Voya, with 30 different vehicle models scheduled to use it this year. That's not a concept. That's mass deployment. The drawbacks. Now, before we get carried away, let's pump the brakes. As exciting as this all sounds, sodium still faces major hurdles. First, lithium isn't going anywhere. Despite CATL's announcement, lithium batteries continue to dominate thanks to established supply chains and economies of scale. And here's the kicker, lithium prices have actually been crashing. After dropping 92% over the last 16 years, they've plunged another 70% in just the past three years due to oversupply. That makes the economic case for sodium much weaker, at least in the short term. Second, CATL hasn't actually revealed concrete pricing. They've teased that magical $10 per kilowatt hour number, but until we see verified products sold at those prices, skepticism is fair. And finally, CATL has been unusually tight-lipped about how they achieved this breakthrough. No technical deep dives, no clear explanations. Just big claims. That could mean they're protecting trade secrets, or it could mean the numbers are more marketing than reality. Industry experts remain cautious. Sodium batteries still need large-scale adoption to bring costs down, but they can't achieve those low costs without scaling first. It's the classic chicken and egg problem. The road ahead. So, where does all of this leave us? Unlike many hyped-up lab prototypes, CATL's sodium batteries are real and market-ready. The company already produces sodium cells, and because they use nearly identical manufacturing processes to lithium, existing production lines can be converted quickly. That gives sodium a path to scale that other alternative chemistries lack. More importantly, CATL isn't some obscure startup. They supply nearly 40% of the world's EV batteries, powering over 18 million vehicles. When they announce something, the industry doesn't just listen, it prepares to adapt. CATL's CEO has even gone so far as to predict that sodium could capture half of the global battery market in the coming years. If their cost claims hold true, even if the real figure is closer to $40 or $50 per kilowatt hour, that would still transform the economics of EVs, home storage, and renewable energy. Imagine electric cars priced thousands of dollars cheaper than their gasoline counterparts. Imagine affordable home batteries that make solar panels viable for millions of households. Imagine grid-scale storage so cheap that renewable energy can finally outcompete fossil fuels everywhere. That's the kind of revolution a sodium breakthrough could trigger. The next year will be critical. CATL has promised sodium-powered vehicles on the road soon. If they deliver, and if those products live up to the hype, we may look back on this as the moment the world's energy landscape fundamentally change. Lithium won't disappear, it will still dominate high-performance applications, but sodium could become the affordable, durable workhorse that finally brings clean energy to the masses. So, the question is, would you buy a sodium-powered EV if it saved you thousands of dollars? Or do the slightly lower specs make it a deal-breaker? One thing is certain, the battery industry is facing a real sea change. And for consumers, that usually means one thing, better technology at lower prices. Thank <laughs> you.